that is what I did two years ago, almost two years ago, nearly two years ago. I started putting up a song on the internet every week, and I blatantly stole the idea from Mr. Jonathan Colton, and then I kicked his ass. <laughs> <laughs> we're up to week 96, which I put up while you all were on the boat, so you can look at it when we go back. So week 97 will be next Tuesday, but for the first several weeks, I did a lot of songs about webcomics because I was doing my Google search and my SEO and my long tail bullshit and no one was doing songs about webcomics so I thought that is what I would do. Anyways, I did the T-Rex song and I also did the song about a web song comic called Questionable Content. Maybe you haven't heard of <laughs> This song is called Questionable Content, girl. Oh, I wish I were a questionable content girl. Cause then I would be pretty. At this point, we stop the show, and I find out how many of you have been to a Hello the Future <laughs> before. I know a couple of you have. Um, at this point, we stop the show, and you reassure me that I, I, I actually am pretty. I tried. I showered this morning. <laughs> so when we get to this part, you guys tell me I'm pretty. I wish I were a questionable content girl. Cause then I would be. Pretty. Oh, oh pretty. Yeah. Yes! Now we build audience rapport, now we love each other. I'm a little content girl. Cause then I would be hanging out with Marigold and Hatters as they play games in their rooms. Then we go and take a break at Copy of Doom. Or they would draw a skull and crossbones floating in my cappuccino foam. And if I were a questionable content girl, I'd be home. Yes, I wish I were a questionable content girl, cause then I'd have a boyfriend. I'd have a lot of quirky little mishaps first, but then I'd have a boyfriend who would jam with me on bass guitar and then go fight the horde. I'd be the better player, but he'd have a bigger sword. He would waste his energy trying to make me something that I'm not. And if I were a questionable content girl, I'd be hot. <laughs> I'd fit right in. I'm not that hard to draw. I don't take up much space. My storyline would be how I would Roomba sit for the Roombas at Fane Martin and Doors Place when they got home. I'd have the house so clean, even Hanners would be scared. <laughs> make sure you would draw me with bigger. <laughs> and if I were a questionable content girl, I guess I'd have a robot. Hey, I'm a robot! <laughs> <laughs> I'd even forget all about the boyfriend thing. If I could have a robot who would help me make decisions like which science we should try. The one that might destroy the world or the one that makes a pie. And afterwards, we eat the pie. And my robot friend would autoclave the plate. <laughs> if I were a questionable content girl, that'd be great. Yes, I wish I were a questionable content girl, cause then I would be pretty. Oh, I to live in questionable content world where people can take lunch trays and go sledding down the giant hill and never miss the curve. Where top hats can appear at will and science is a verb. Where birds can talk and fans can rock. And parties go for days before they're through. I wish I lived in questionable content world. Don't you, don't you, don't forget about the bigger hair. <laughs> <laughs> Please. 